Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for giving us your dear Son, Jesus Christ, who is alive in our lives. Father, as he crosses us to the resurrection side, be glorified that our lives may you rejoice all the days of our lives. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I wish you a happy Easter. It's a glorious day in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we are seeing Jesus alive in our lives, crossing us to a new level because many things have been hitting us and indeed where we are, we must continue proclaiming that Jesus is alive in our lives. The resurrection side, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because we see that the children of God, the disciples, those who believed in Jesus, when on the day he resurrected, they rejoiced. So rejoice. He turned their fear into joy. And today he has turned your fear into joy. We see that in Mark chapter 16 from verse 1 to 8, he, he made them, he surprised them, and he told them, don't be alarmed. See, don't be alarmed, because if you are alarmed, then how about those who don't know him? Children of God, I glorify God that we know him. And as we know him, he told them, don't be alarmed. He walked before them and went to Galilee, and he proclaimed the goodness, the, the good words he, they wanted him to hear. The same words are being proclaimed in our ears today. That we is alive, he is risen. So rejoice as you go on the side of resurrection, not the side of defeat. Because we are in Christ Jesus. Father sent him to us that the, the fear may be taken out of our lives. So we thank God that these women, as we read in that scripture, those women, they went every morning to give devotion, to give love, to put spices on the body of Christ. And we see ourselves daily putting our devotion, putting our, our hearts to the Lord. And that's what he wants us to do because he has good things. He has good things. He wants you to speak and say, as he, they were walking and they kept saying, who is going to roll away the stone? I'm here to declare that the stone was rolled away. The stone of even sicknesses and diseases, infirmities, the stone of loneliness, of hardship is being taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. So rejoice in a new way and speak a new language. So we thank Jesus that when he talked with this woman, these women, he's talking to us. He's speaking to us, saying, don't be alarmed. So whatever has been making you be alarmed, surrender it to Christ in Jesus Christ. They are assurances. Because these assurances that Jesus indeed he resurrected. It is a, a fact. And the devil has nothing. And as he resurrected, the assurance is that we are to resurrect with him. Are you there? Are you to rejoice? Be in Christ Jesus. That the power of God that brought him from the dead is with you. Children of God. We give God the glory that as he told us in his word of prophecy that when the world's economy will be down, he exalt himself. This is your time to rise up in power and speak a new language in Christ Jesus for his life in Jesus' mighty name. We thank Jesus. Are you ready to proclaim? In your house, proclaim. Rotate in your house and proclaim. That I'm risen, I'm on the other side, the side of resurrection, not the side of defeat. 
I'm on the other side of speaking a new language. I'm a victor in Christ Jesus, not the side of defeat. Because that's why he told the, the, these women, why they spoke to them and said, yeah, he's risen, he has gone ahead of you. Child of God, he's ahead of you in Galilee. He's ahead of you into the blessing that you are to enter in. He's ahead of you into the victory that you desire. Because where he's putting you, the devil will never follow you there. It will never follow you because he is alive. So I, if, I encourage you not to keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Speak. Give your devotion. Give your uh, prayer every morning. Speak and declare that I will not die because he himself he promised us and said, I'll never leave you. And that word is to us in the mighty name of Jesus. So as you speak, he's crossing me over. As you speak, he's crossing me over to the resurrection side. I'm no longer on the death side. I'm on the resurrection side. There is a supernatural miracle. There is some glory, supernatural glory, that is coming in your house. That where people were expecting, and he didn't as they expected. These women walked to the grave expecting Jesus to be dead. But alas, they found a living Jesus. So things are alive in your life. Things are new in your life in the name of Jesus. These sicknesses and diseases and infirmities have no hold on you. You are a child of God. The Lord who knew you, he spoke and said, when things will be, I will exalt myself. Allow him to exalt himself. So we thank Jesus that even in Matthew, in Luke chapter 24, when you look in Matthew and you look chapter 24, the disciples also were in conversation. Are you ready to go in the conversation with Jesus? Are you ready? The conversation, he found them walking and he joined them. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that he may join you in the conversations in your houses today. That as you walk, as you, he joins you, you may, he may walk along with you into the resurrection site. He may give you joy that you may recognize him. Because we see that these, these men as they walked, they did not recognize him. But I pray for you that you may recognize him in your house as he walks. Because this is what we need. And Jesus spoke and said, Yeah, it is well with you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that the children, those, the saints of God who are saying, He's my Lord, are saying, Resurrect us to the uh, resurrection side. Hold us by the hand to the resurrection side. And Lord, I pray that you may hear their cry and take them over to the resurrection side and they may rejoice in a new way and speak a new life. Where suffering is not going to stand anymore, where sicknesses is not going to hold anymore, where death has no hold over us in any way in the name of Jesus and enable us to enter your glory. We worship you, Lord. I wish you a very nice week. I wish you a great day, this day, that you may rejoice. I wish you the best in the mighty name of Jesus, that God who is alive may be alive in your life, all the days of your life, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.